What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with a new Lord of the Rings mod, this time for Shogun 2. This is the Last Alliance mod and it looks amazing. I mean, look at these guys. Look at that. So we are in the second age of, uh, of Middle Earth. So we have the Numenorians uh, this time instead of Gondor. Is not a thing as of yet, but so we have the Numenorean armies and forces, and we are against a fellow Numenorean um, army in today's battle. It's a more of a colonial army, uh, in a sense, than it is a um, than it is like just a normal. I guess this is. I guess you call this a normal Numenorean army. I wouldn't really. I wouldn't really know. Uh, my second age knowledge is not as uh, good as my third age knowledge. I've read the Silmarillion, but um, I still don't think that really. Uh, means anything when it comes to knowing everything about the Second Age. I mean, such a wide and diverse uh, world. Who knows? Um, okay, let's just get these cavalry on top of the hill. Let's we'll have a quick skirmish. So, I mean, this is going to be a, just as a, obviously a live battle. So, I mean, my micro is going to probably be awful, and I am just against the AI showing this off. Um, but I mean, you will have a look here at the opposing Numenorians. I mean, look at these guys. They look. They look pretty cool as well. I mean, what's then? What's their name then? We we are the principality of, um, of what was it? And Andune? I have no no idea how to pronounce that. And then we are against the Al. Um, I'm looking at sort of a different one. Our Farazon. So it's another Numenorean faction. There are only Numenorean factions in in the game at the moment. There's about um, five or six, but I mean, most of them are uh, fairly similar in just like in style and in. And just in in skill, I presume as well. I mean, so they are taking the hill, or they are trying to take the hill. Um, so I'm not going to try and I'm not going to let them. I'm not going to let them get up onto this hill and establish a foothold. So we are going to we're going to keep moving up. I am sorry if I'm still sniffling. I am just about getting over this cold. The battle is nearly over with my illnesses. Um, but yeah, I'm also trying to micro as quickly as possible and get a decent enough battle for you guys so I do apologize let's have a look at the main infantry for these for these boys I mean look at these guys actually let's look let's 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 get some slow mos let's look at these guys Ooh, I mean that they look gorgeous I mean the shields I mean for Shogun 2 you don't have um, shield like um, mechanics in Shogun 2 so I mean they've all been added in for the blocks and everything is amazing. Let's just kill these guys off quickly. Um, so I mean, it. So they look amazing to start with. Uh, I'm just gonna. We'll keep it on slow mo actually while I do all the micros. That's a brilliant idea, Pope. Why didn't you think of that before? Um, so yeah, they are just like making a huge long line on this wall, on this wall, on this hill, um, of just a wall of infantry. So we're gonna have to try and maneuver around it. Um, I'm gonna try and take out. Actually, let's go and take out that archers at the back. Um, we'll bring up the spears. Bring up the spears. Keep going round. And then uh, we've got. Let's send in this lot to help the cavalry out. What is? Have I got all the way over here? Oh, this is my cavalry that's like got very deep into enemy territory. Yeah, that was. Not a good idea, but oh well, we will, we learn, we move on. Um, go into battle, please. Please, please go into battle. Um, uh, we'll go with that for now, let's get it back to the normal speed. Otherwise this battle will take on forever. So I mean, we've got these cavalry here. They're going into battle, marching in. They're going to get these, over the hill we go, we're going to get these uh, archers. I mean, with their fire arrows currently. Hopefully we can kill these guys off, route them off the battlefield. That'll be excellent. Right, I mean, look at that. We're getting absolutely gunned down. Getting gunned down at the moment. So, I mean, I don't know if there's any... Th I mean, it's also... Shogun 2 is such a fast-paced game. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of... I don't know how they're going to deal with that if it comes to, like, sieges and stuff like that. I mean, like, if you look at Rise of Mordor, it is slightly slower paced, I'd say. But, um... But who knows? I mean, we'll see what happens. They may, they may work it out. I'm gonna try and squeeze that unit through there. I mean, these guys are actually nearly broken. These are shock infantry. Yeah, we might actually want to send these guys in and just deal with them. Um, what have we got left actually at the rear? We've got some uh, elite spears. 
And we've got some swords here that haven't been actually sent in. Um, let's just send these guys in. Let's kill these. So, I mean, these are the sword masters. I mean, there's a lot. So, these are like a two handed sword unit. Um, what else have we got since we're now uh, actually in the battle? We also have. Let's find these uh, Dunedain swords. So, I mean, yeah, they look very similar to their uh, their counterpart. Uh, they're basically the same, but with spears. Um, oh, get in the battle, come on. Um, and then we've got bodyguard. Oh, we've got Dunedain bodyguard. These guys look amazing. I'm going to show these guys off quickly. I mean, look at the these guys. That is, that is some good looking armor, and it's a good looking shields. I would want that shield in battle. Yeah, that would save that save your life. Um, so we'll keep the general back. Uh, my army definitely looks like it's breaking. Um, I think I've definitely brought lower tier units than the enemy. Try to give myself a bit of a challenge, but um, it's not really paying off. It's just my general I'm sending up. It is actually. Let's not send you up. Um, let's send the spears up. Um, but we'll put the general like there ish. Uh, my cavalry is doing some damage, but it's not really killing a lot of stuff. It's occupying their archers, though. That's what matters. Um, and then let's just send around the flank. Actually, you're about to break. Actually, uh, go this way. Sorry, this is an off camera angle I'm giving you guys. But um, let's see. We'll go here. Who are these? Are these some of heavy infantry? These guys look like... They remind me of the fountain guard a bit. Um these guys. I mean, let's get a let's get a head on view of these guys. Look at these guys. They look These guys look excellent. I mean Fountain Guard esque, if I do say so myself. And they they should hopefully kill a few of these cavalry off. Who I mean, their uh, helmets and stuff like that, a few of them remind me of like Stannis's uh, sort of like uh, army, like Stannis's army from Game of Thrones. I don't know why, but I mean I just I kinda get that vibe. Apparently our general's in grave danger. He's been shot at about three times. We're going to pull him back a little bit. Um, let's just kill these guys. So I don't know why you weren't in combat, but now you are. They should be in combat as well. Fighting these guys. Kill these guys off. Um, and we are winning over here, possibly? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. We're, we're certainly chasing the horsemen off. They seem to have a lot of cavalry left. They have a lot of cavalry, actually, yeah. Is there one of their general bodyguards? No, colonial knights. Colonial spear cavalry, colonial knights. So, I mean, yeah, they've got an all sorts of a mix of uh, troops here. I'm going to send in... I might send in the general. We're running out of men. Um, so we might need to. Um, okay, we've got Dunedain Heavy Infantry just over here, lying around. No wonder I'm like losing the battle. I've just got units that aren't even committed to the battle, like just lying around, doing their bit. Um, let's just keep the general like with his army. Archers, you might need to start focusing down some cavalry because actually, just can you start shooting stuff at the back? Start shooting some big blobs of stuff. Yeah, look at this. I'm getting absolutely overwhelmed. I'm trying to. I think I've made far too large a line. I mean, I've not really played Shogun in a long time. So it's it's to be expected, I think, that I lose uh, to the AI. Uh, I didn't expect much less at this point. Um, but here we go. In we go. Break these guys. Come on, break these guys, and then we can get a move on. Kill the rest. Um, apparently, all my cavalry's going to break, or has been breaking. At least we've occupied their archers for a bit. I mean, look at these guys. These guys still won't break. These colonial swordsmen. They're like a mid-tier unit, and they won't break. There we go, as I say. As I say it, they do. Right, so we're going to send these guys into the rear. Do some damage. Um, yeah, there's a lot of their banners left. Uh, I hate to say it. Um, let's just put you into there. And then, then let's just try and support our, our king. Our king is in here somewhere. Getting murdered. With his elite tier unit. But he's going to rally. Put a, let's put a rally up. Probably should have done that earlier, but hey. I mean, but I mean, yeah. Look at it. I want to get some uh, online battles going. That'll be really, some really good uh, battles. I'm sure we can get with this mod. It looks excellent. I'll try and show off some of the other factions, possibly. Um, I mean, they they're ever so similar, really, in my opinion. But I mean, they've got different armor um, and different color colors. But I mean, they are very similar at the moment. They've got uh, 
but the, because they're all just different clans, all just different Numen Numenorian clans at this point. So I mean, um, not much else you can do with that. Uh, let's just focus. Okay, our archers are getting chased down. It's not a good day uh, when you get beaten, by, getting outmatched by the AI. But I mean, what can I do? Let's just try and let's just admire the battle. Admire the battle. There they go. I mean, it's such an interesting age. Uh, hopefully they add like a lot of. Don't know what you could, you could add. Hopefully the orcs and stuff get added, um, and elves of course. The elves, uh, the last alliance obviously being made up of men and elves. So hopefully we get that, and maybe get a Sauron unit. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, that would actually be very good. I'd like to see that. I mean, I mean, just look at them all. I mean, like that guy there, just with his cool double sword, just waving around. These guys at the back, just cheering on with their spears because they've got nothing better to do. Because my men are actually not turning up and fighting. Um, just getting absolutely destroyed at the moment. But I mean, also, yeah, they've got like the Battle of Middle Earth noise, uh, like sound bites and stuff like that. It's excellent. It really is. Um, let's hold firm, men. Hold firm. Hold firm, come on. There we go, hold firm, all of you. Um, okay, have you got any abilities? I really need to start using abilities, second wind. Um, it would really help if I did, I think. Let's just do like uh, a sec. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. I really shouldn't have assaulted them on this hill. It was not a good decision. I can barely see what's going on because of these trees. Um, but I also tried to outflank far too much, and they've got this huge death stack here, just like going around, just killing everything that I've like put at them. Um, but I mean, I've got my own sort of death stack, but it's very much depleted now. I, I mean, I was trying to do lots of nice little flanks and stuff, but I mean, I really need to practice uh, more on this mod. But it's literally come out this week, so I mean, I was like, just want to get a video out for you guys, and then I'll learn. I'll learn from my mistakes. I mean, let's see if my uh, archers here can save them. Uh, what are these? These are the Dunedain City Guard. They are pretty damn good. And these are Dean Dunedain Steel Bowmen who are firing at no one. Come on. So, I mean, you, are you going to turn around and fire at the men? You, you didn't need to turn your entire formation. I mean, yeah, look at these guys. Loose! Yes. Get some kills, get some kills. Get, got any kills? And what are these? Numenor and Colonial Heavy Infantry. I mean, hopefully killing some guys. I mean, otherwise, don't know what I'm really paying you men for. Oh, there we go. We got a few. I got a few. Some blood wouldn't go amiss. A few blood spatters would be lovely. Um, we'll speed this up because I think the battle is almost won. Um, there's, well, almost lost. Sorry, almost won for the colonials. It looks like the colony uh, is going to beat the the principality, and we may have a new prince in charge. That is quite that is quite possible. But um, yeah, if any of you guys got this mod and want to try it out with me, um, then please let me know. I would love to get some battles, uh, some battles done with you guys. Are you actually gonna fight? Um, you're gonna fight. Uh, actually, just get skirmish on, please. No, yeah, I don't really want you. Don't know what are it. They're kind of caught. Oh, who knows? But I mean, the poor. Poor men. Uh, their bows look very, like, look huge on their back. But I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more at this point. Like, first, first release of the mod. It looks excellent. Who's it? Who, who's over here? Oh, these are my Soldiers heavy infantry. No! Come on, men. Heavy infantry against a uh, Numenorean bodyguard. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a bit late to try and get the general, but we can try. I mean, their bodyguard looks insane. Gold armor. That is very nice. Can we find their general? I don't know. Uh, that might be their general there. That might be... Reps oh, no, that's definitely one of my soldiers that's deep in enemy lines. Um, our enemy general... Uh, the enemy general... Who knows? They all look so amazing in their gold armor. Who? So it could be any of them. But, I mean... Uh, yes. Unfortunately, it looks like we are going to get defeated. But, I mean, I don't care. I'm here to just show off his amazing looking mod that it, that it, we have now. So it now can compete with Rise of Mordor for uh, for Lord of the Rings and also Third Age for Medieval 2. We have now three different 
um, Lord of the Rings mods on three different games. So that is excellent. That's, I can't complain as a Lord of the Rings fan there. But I mean, what are you even cheering at? These guys are still fighting. Oh. If I was an arch now, just run away, please, just run. They are, I mean, if they could change that, I'd like that. If they could change that so we have, uh, like, Lord, um, like, men, uh, Numenorean men saying it instead, or orcs or something like that, that'd be great. But, I mean, uh, just break. Um, can I ask you just to break, please? I just don't want you. Yeah, there we go. Battle is over. And there we go. We we have been defeated. I mean, we there's not many of them left, but um, we have been defeated. So I will end end the battle, and um, we'll have a quick look at the end game results. So here we go, guys. Um, we have the end. You we have the unit statistics here. I mean, we'll just quickly look. I lost um, basically my entire army, but I did kill quite a lot of theirs. I was outnumbered by um, uh, about 300 men. So. I can use that as an excuse, but I will not. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we'll have a quick look at the unit statistics. I mean, how many kills? Uh, let's look at the best. Dunedain Sword Masters gave 322. Um, you can have a look there. I mean, their best uh, was a Numenorean Colonial Sword Masters, 280. I mean, so who was the who wasn't worth bringing to the battle then? I mean, these volunteer spearmen, they're kind of just there for the extra money, I guess. I could have uh, shown some stuff up. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to see more Last Alliance content, then please let me know with a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, guys.